So we've been talking about here this afternoon some opportunities to understand maintenance of your bucket elevator better, whether it's belt wear, bucket wear, uh, fasteners and things like that for your splices. But um, there are features on your bucket elevator available that will let you know whether maintenance is going to be coming up and going to be needed. Kind of a, a pre-information to let you know if you're going to have maintenance coming up. What am I talking about? Of course, it's the monitoring systems. You can have a motion monitor on your bucket elevator to let you know if the belt and buckets are moving properly, bearing temperature sensors to let you know whether or not the bearings are about ready to fail, and even uh, belt alignment sensors so that you know if that belt is going back and forth, if it's running straight or not. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a millwright. I never have been employed specifically as a millwright, but I've had the opportunity to go on a number of millwright projects and jobs. And one of the first uh, millwright jobs that I got to go on was installing a monitoring system. And I was the gopher. We had a crew foreman that had everything all planned out. And I was the one who got to come along and understand better what it took to get a motion monitor, bearing temperature sensors, and belt alignment sensors installed. So it was a great experience because it just showed me all of the things that are involved with it as far as you go to the boot section to put on the mon monitors there, the head section there, all of the wiring in the system that has to be separated from the other wiring to make sure it doesn't get interfered with uh, by the high voltage wiring. And then putting up the control panel so that in the office you can see everything that's going on. The nice thing about it is when it's all said and done, you can really tell whether or not your bucket elevator is running the way that it's supposed to. Now, when I talked about the uh, motion monitor and I said, and I motioned towards the boot, if you were to put a motion monitor on the head shaft, it's not gonna accomplish very much. First of all, because unless there's some failure with the speed reducer, that head shaft is gonna spin as soon as the motor turns on, regardless of anything else that's happening in the bucket elevator. The most important thing is not knowing whether or not the motor is turning, it's whether or not the belt and buckets are moving. Bearing temperature sensors are gonna be incredibly important because if a bearing goes bad and fails, it's gonna get overheated, possibly causing red hot ball bearings to fall out into your bucket elevator, which would be disastrous. And belt temperature um, alignment, belt alignment, to know exactly whether or not the belt is moving back and forth. Generally, that sensor system is using temperature though because the rub blocks on the side will tell you if the belt starts to come over. And if it comes over a ways, it's going to make the sensor warm or hot, and it's gonna let you know that there's a problem. In these photos, we're gonna see some alignment systems or some monitoring systems that are installed. The first one here is gonna show a, uh, a bucket elevator that I came across actually, and this is a very large facility with four bucket elevators, all with 42 inch wide uh, belts and bucket combinations. And this just happens to show the boot section uh, of one of those bucket elevators. If you look at it closely, you can see that there is a uh, motion monitor attached to the boot shaft. You can also see that there is a wire connected to the bearing, which is gonna be your hot bearing sensor. And there's also a sensor on the boot uh, that shows whether or not the belt is coming over. It also is positioned in a place where if the, if the boot pulley were to come over, it's gonna let you know, it's gonna rub on the side there as well. The next photo is going to show at the head section. Obviously at the head section, like I mentioned, you don't need to have a motion monitor sensor there because the shaft is gonna spin regardless. And in this case, uh, there are two bucket elevators here, a large one to the left, a smaller one to the right. So you've got two bearings, two large bearings there. They both have temperature sensors into the Zerk so that it'll go down and touch into the inside of the bearing and let you know if it's hot inside there. And then of course, um, a belt alignment sensor at the top. Um, the next uh, photo is gonna show a bucket elevator that could be helped dramatically by having a belt alignment sensor. As you can see, the belt and buckets and everything are over to one side quite a ways, which is gonna cause wear on the belt. It's gonna cause wear on the, the housing of the boot and, and cause damage. So it really does need um, belt alignment sensors. Uh, the next one is also a boot section. And you'll notice that it does have a uh, a motion monitor system on the boot shaft, but that's it. And when I got there, uh, one of the problems they were having is that they kept um, uh, flooding the boot um, and, and they put on the, the motion monitor system. Actually, it was there, but they hadn't had it working. So they had just gotten it working. Unfortunately, in this case, it doesn't have belt alignment and it doesn't have temperature sensors. I think a lot of situations out there, you're gonna find this is the case. This may be in your facility as well. You're not getting the full effect of the capability of a monitoring system if you don't have all of these features as well. 
Uh, the last photo is one that actually I showed earlier. It's, it's not one that I'm really proud of. Unfortunately, that bucket elevator is, or at least when I took this photo, was still running. But um, it really could use a belt alignment sensor because then you wouldn't have had the wear that it shows there of the belt coming over and rubbing on the side. And obviously it looks like the bucket, buckets probably came over too because if it wears for a certain amount of time, the belt, that, which is wider than the buckets, is gonna wear to the point that then the buckets are rubbing on the side as well. So that turns out to be a real problem to have that much wear happening. And if you had a belt alignment sens sensor, it's gonna take care of that. So this is the sensors. We're gonna move on to preventative maintenance in the next section.